Most people wouldn't get this far at all, really. It's, it's a difficult Listen, song. he stands up in court and waxes lyrical for days. He yeah. says nothing in court. Well, it's also the thing with this, it's very wordy. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's no, a lot no. of tongue-twisting yeah. words. Yeah. So. No, it's the way you describe everything. Like, so, You're very good with tongue-twisting, bro. Let's yeah, maybe go from his hopeless. Sorry. His hopeless. His hopeless rapture. His hopeless rapture for true love, his romantic servitude to her, his sustained love sickness when he was unbearably away from her. Sexy guy. I need to get close to him. <laughs> Why did you marry this man? <laughs> the sound of a cow. Yes. Oh, I love it. You know, my grandmother used to have cows, she used to have cattle, and my uncle would always go out and milk. Oh. That was fascinating for me, and when you hear the sound, I think that's what made me decide I love, I want to follow. Oh, oh, one of the greatest, <laughs> I must, I must tell you. Oh, and the Sipo hot sticks. Yeah, <laughs> oh, just Sipo. Sipo, where's your name tag? They might not recognize you. <laughs> it's better to burn out than fade away. <laughs> One and the only. No speechless wow. now. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a, he's a talk but I can hear the music playing in my head now. You are. You are so beautiful. Oh, I keep looking so at this dimple. <laughs> thank, thank, you so thank you so much. Thank I said they're both gorgeous. Be very careful of this man. That's what I said, Sipo Hot Sticks. My pussy. You should say it, Sipo Hot Sticks, my pussy. The ladies. But we didn't get the budget. Yes, right? yes. And then she got clever and she sent a picture of her backside. And she said two things. She said, yeah. It's like you, it's tight and. Um, and has great exposure. It has great exposure. Okay, that's it. Tight and has great exposure. You are a legend. If you don't want to know it, we will tell you that. <laughs> the poem I'm going to read tonight is called The Garden of the Beloved. I know the whole intro and what they say. Uh, Barry, who was it for? Hmm? Was there anyone in particular when you wrote this poem, or what's it's the story? It's a general story. It's a general story. It's a general story about someone. It's a general story, story someone... of a relationship. Okay, do you want okay. me to do the fucking intro? No, I just want to know whose relationship it's it was. It's not about anyone's relationship in particular. Someday. Why are you pointing that thing at me? Why are you doing this? Chrissy, will you help me judge? I need two winners in this competition. She'll deliberately fail me. Okay, no judging.
It was, I think the festival was supposed to have been in August, mm -hmm. yes. but uh, because of COVID, we couldn't, uh, the festival couldn't happen. And it would have been my first time in McGregor, let alone the festival. And Barry, who was just recited, and a very close friend, suggested that I, I come. Is there anything that I could write? I said, listen, I don't write poetry, I write songs for the music that I make. So he said, come on, try something. <laughs> so I thought, okay, maybe there's something that I will try. And I do hope it sounds like poetry. <laughs> uh, but before I do that, I'd love to, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Say something. I don't know, I started scribbling things. Sometimes I struggle to read my own handwriting. <laughs> and hopefully, when I fluff through things, you'll bear with me. You say, Well, he's not a poet. <laughs> this is, uh, I said, something I wrote called Someday in June. <laughs> I heard the sounds of the marching feet from a distance, rising all the way from the sounds of stomping feet to the sounds of resistance. Someday in June, there was fire and insurrection, rocks and stones and action. Sunday in June. Bullets and pallets from every direction. Sirens, then there was silence. Sunday in June. Perpetuation of oppression. Someday when this is part of our history, children will learn of that past. Someday when we tell our story, it will be the story, it will be a story someday in June. Human rights sacrificed, security fortified, in a brutal state of anger, someday in June. Someone is dead with a hole in his head, a mother cries, and another tries to understand why the children are dying. Someday in June, when we remember the story, children will hear of our history. Someday, when we tell that story, they will know of that past someday in June. And a special, special thank you to you. I think you can be our winner. <laughs> so not, don't get confused. Sipa wins this open mic and the two young ladies go forward for the Hugh Hodge. At least what you did. 
was get rid of all the... That was a shocker. We didn't expect uh, that shocker. sequence. Because you were rubbish. Actually. I was rubbish. Who <laughs> <laughs> these enemies that got friends like me? Scream, thank you. Poetry reading with John Mason. This is the true spirit of the poetry festival. Yay! <laughs> the poem I'm going to read tonight is called The Garden of the Beloved. There she sits in the far corner of the garden on a tree made of sweet girly dreams. A yellow daisy in her hair. She opens her door to me beckoning me to enter her verdant patch. I pull the vines aside, step over the threshold of her femininity, and as I enter, my being breaks into a trillion subatomic particles, each one circulating furiously inside her galaxy. For billions of years, I shall swim up against her force field, trying to cross her brain-soul barrier. And even though I travel outwards at light speed, she expands faster than my internal velocity her finally crossing the invisible boundary of my observable universe, <clears throat> with me losing sight of her forever. Oh. Wow. I, remember your, I remember your poems from two years ago, they're beautiful. Okay. So we're here for the final day. Just the two of us. With uh, hot sticks and um, yeah, these hot sacks, hot sacks. Can you just sanitize and just put your name and number? Hello, Mr. No Flash Photography. No Flash Photography. You still pointing no that thing at people. Good morning. Good morning. You were lovely last night, oh, as thank usual. Thank you so much. Tasty. How are you feeling, Patricia? I'm fabulous. It's doing brilliant. Everyone's That's the, that's the first pigeon epic I've ever heard of. Well done. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. Oh. you. <laughs> I didn't realize that I'd be the first one. It's frightening. I'm the opening act. I'm used to being the closing act. Just set it up very quickly. Um, when lockdown started, I didn't expect this avalanche of clients on top of me, especially when it was when the financial fallout happened. And uh, I had to. I made a decision, like after the first week, because it was non-stop every day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., that I had to do something to save myself because otherwise, literally, I'd drown under this work. So. What I used to do was basically just watch a lot of comedy and have my own sort of therapy routine going, and this is what this is about. 
to teach the song of peace. There, the city down below is suffering in unfunny silence. Thank you. You're in the middle. You got your hand up, so you are. Um, you're in the middle, so you're not in the front. You're not in the back, so you're on now. <laughs>